Okay, in our video series on toxicology lectures and emergency medicine, in this video, we'll be talking about beta blocker overdose, commonly seen as indrol or propanolol overdose. We'll discuss that what is its presentation and how do you treat it in emergency department. First of all, what are beta blockers? Beta blockers are the drugs that block sympathetic nervous system. They mediate their action by blocking the sympathetic receptors present on the nerves. They include drugs like propanolol available in the markets with the name of indrol, carvidolol, lepitolol used in blood pressure control, atenolol, metoprolol. These drugs are used to treat congestive heart failure, anxiety. They are used for the prophylaxis of esophageal viruses. They are also used for blood pressure control. So these are very commonly used drugs. And their overdose presents by the same mechanism, by blocking the sympathetic nervous system. So if you block the sympathetic nervous system in the heart, it will result in bradycardia, hypotension with vasodilation of the vessels, coma due to slowing down of the activity, convulsions and cardiac arrest. The effects of beta blocker on the heart are the most important ones. Coming to the effects of propanolol, they have pronounced effects in asthmaticus where they cause bronchospasm and in children you would see prominent hypoglycemia. Sutolol is an antiarrhythmic beta blocker that is used to control arrhythmia but it can also cause arrhythmia. It can cause prolonged QT interval between tricular tachycardia and even torsardi points. This is how torsardi points look on ECG. ECG changes shown in beta blocker overdose include bradycardia. Look at the number of large boxes between each QRS complexes. There are an increased number of large boxes which show a very slow heart rate, bradycardia. And P waves are present, so there is si this is a sinus bradycardia. Other than that, there is QRS prolongation. And you can also appreciate T wave abnormalities. So these are all the findings in ECG when the patient has beta blocker overdose. Treatment of beta blocker overdose revolves around protecting the heart, preventing cardiac arrest. You have an ABC approach, you protect the airway, breathing, circulation, you monitor heart rate, you monitor blood pressure, and you have continuous ECG monitoring. And then you check the blood glucose levels. As I said, that beta blockers can cause hypoglycemia. So you must check blood glucose levels. And these patients will not be showing any symptoms of hypoglycemia because symptoms of hypoglycemia are induced by sympathetic nervous system, the tremors, the sweating, the anxiety. This is all initiated by sympathetic nervous system, which indicate hypoglycemia. But these beta blockers have blocked the sympathetic nervous system. Therefore, the symptoms of hypoglycemia are not evident. Therefore, the patient has hypoglycemia and they are not showing symptoms. You must check blood glucose. And if they are in hypoglycemia, give them dextrose. You check electrolytes, beta blockers cause hyperkalemia because beta agonist action, the sympathetic nervous system pushes potassium into the cells. When you block the sympathetic nervous system, there will be build up of potassium in the cells. You check the blood calcium and you do CBC. After that, if the patient presents within one hour of overdose with beta blocker, within one hour you can give activated charcoal. What activated charcoal does is that it binds the beta blocker and reduces their absorption in the blood. And if the patient is having bradycardia with hypotension, in that case, you have to give atropine. What atropine does is that atropine is an anticholinergic agent. It blocks the parasympathetic nervous system, therefore gives some space for sympathetic nervous system to initiate an action. So it blocks the parasympathetic nervous system and therefore can control bradycardia and hypotension. But in beta blocker overdose, atropine is usually not enough for the treatment of bradycardia and hypotension. You have to give other things as well. In adults, you give 0.5 to 1.2 milligram of atropine. In children, you give it according to the weight 0.02 mg per kg. So what else do you have to give other than atropine to control bradycardia and hypotension? You give glucagon. Glucagon is best treatment for cardiotoxicity. It is like an antidote for beta blocker overdose. You give it with the dose in adults 5 to 10 mg IV and in children you give it 50 to 150 microgram per kg according to the weight in children and it causes dramatic improvement in the pulse, corrects the bradycardia and it corrects the hypotension. 
the side effect of glucagon include vomiting what if glucagon is unavailable if glucagon is unavailable you can consider the use of vasopressors vasopressors like adrenaline and metaraminol metaraminol is basically a sympathomimetic drug that causes vasoconstriction that causes increase in heart rate so adrenaline metaraminol can be used if glucagon is unavailable you can give insulin therapy for severe hypotension the concept behind insulin therapy is that if the person has a overdose of a cardiotoxic thing and if you give insulin in that case the insulin increases the metabolism of heart cells it increases the glucose uptake and it improves the heart function so insulin therapy can be used if there is severe hypotension due to beta blocker overdose intralipid therapy can be used to reduce the drug toxicity what you do in intra lipid therapy is that you give lipids through iv line and those lipids bind the beta blockers in blood and do not let them bind to the heart receptors these must be used with senior consultations in summary we talked about the mechanism of beta blockers drugs included in it and the indications of beta blocker then we talked about the clinical features with beta blocker overdose sinus bradycardia being the most important one the effects of propanolol bronchospasm and hypoglycemia sotalol tarsardi points we talked about the ecg changes bradycardia qrs prolongation abc approach check blood glucose check electrolytes give charcoal give atropine give glucagon glucagon is the best treatment for cardiotoxicity if glucagon is unavailable use the vasopressors with senior consultation if you liked my video please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on toxicology lectures and emergency medicine the link of those videos is given in the description below thank you very much